If filling up your gas tank is getting you down, we're about to find out how you may be able to live car-free. Environmental journalist Chris Baelish is the author of How to Live Well Without Owning a Car, Save Money, Breathe Easier, and Get More Mileage Out of Life. Hey, Chris, good morning. Nice to see good you. Good to see you, Matt. So let, let's be honest right off the bat. Aren't there some places around this country people live simply can't do this? Correct. If you live out in the country, you live in a rural area, you don't have any mass transit, it's a lot more difficult. But I still say a lot of those families have two, three vehicles. You can cut down by one vehicle. And, and let's talk about this. You actually started doing this accidentally about yeah. five years ago. You got tired of paying a dollar sixty-five. Those were the good <laughs> right. old days for gas. Right. You were trading in or trading down your SUV right. and decided, wait a minute, I'm saving a lot of cash here. Yeah, I, I was shopping for a car. I'd sold my previous car, and I was saving eight hundred bucks a month. So I thought, you know. I'm going to stretch this out a couple more months. That was five years ago, and I've saved over $60,000. All right, so right off the bat, you're saving money on gasoline every month. You're saving yep. car payments. You're right. saving insurance payments. But you're paying for mass transit. Right. You're probably renting a car from time to time when yep. you really need one. What is right. the average person going to save if they get rid of their car? The average American family, if they get rid of one car, will save between $400 and $1,000 per month. If they just cut down their car use a lot, they can save between 100 and 300 a month. And are they going to love Chris Baelish for this when they're <laughs> sitting there raking in that money? And are they going to hate Chris Baelish for this when they're getting caught in a rainstorm on a bicycle on a side road? Well, I get 10% yeah, it with everything they say. Yeah, no, they're, they're going to love it. It's so much, uh, such a great cash flow incentive, and you can really save a lot of money. But again, depending where you live, I see yeah. it happening here in New York City and some other right. places. But And you live in L.A., so it works there. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the options. And the first one you have right here is a folding bicycle. We've got Steve Cuomo Come here over, Steve. who's going to actually show us how quickly we can fold this. Tell me about this bike. Folding bikes offer tremendous mobility in a very small package. Steve, we're going to fold that up so small that you can put it in a shoulder bag, put it over your shoulder, take it on the train, take it on the bus, put it under your desk at work. It makes commuting by bike a lot easier. And how much does something like this cost? Anywhere from $400 to $1,000 is the average. All right, so, and that obviously lasts for years and years. Steve, that was 14 seconds. That's close to your record. Thanks right, very thanks. much. This is a bicycle, but it's got an electric kick to it. That's right. This is a pedal assist bicycle by OptiBike. Basically, you pedal just like you would a normal bike, but you go three times faster and three times farther, and it only costs about eight cents to charge it. All right, so less than a dime to charge it overnight, and yep. again, the price on this? Uh, anywhere from $5,000 to $13,000. So it's pricey, but you have to kind of amortize that cost out over a long period of time. That's right. Now we move into the scooter area, and most people think of gasoline scooters. You've got two versions here that are electric. Yeah, these are electric scooters by Extreme Scooters, and basically, they go between 25 and 50 miles per hour, between 25 and 50 miles per charge, and they cost less than a dollar to charge. You just plug it into your garage overnight, charge it up, and off you go, and you never have to go to the gas station. How much do they cost to buy? Uh, between This one's $1,000, and this one's $2,500. What about insurance on something like this? Expensive? Very, no, no, very cheap. 20 okay. bucks a month. All right, I actually have something very similar to this one. This is right. what I, I call the Vespa, or it's a, a Vespa type. This is gas, though, right? These are both gasoline scooters, the classic Vespa S with the Italian styling gets 80 miles to the gallon. This one, though, is state of the art. It's a maxi scooter. Notice it's got a very unique two wheels in the front. Is that this just is, for stability? Yes, for stability. So you ride it on a rainy day like today. This is no also problem. very fast, we should mention. Yes, this goes 90 miles per hour on the highway. You can commute along with traffic. This looks like right out of the new Dark Knight Batman movie. What is this? Matt, if you want to look cool when you roll up to the restaurant, try a brand new state of the art lithium ion electric chopper. This is custom made. It costs about $17,000. $500, and this thing will really roll 75 I'm, miles an hour. I'm not cool enough. Real quickly, in the 30 seconds we yep. have left, talk to me about these electric cars. Electric cars are available for sale today in the United States. You don't have to wait till next year. These are by Hybrid Technologies. This one costs $100,000. State of the art, zero maintenance, lithium ion batteries. This one's about $39,000. They'll go 120 miles on a charge and cost about $2 to charge overnight. I'm looking at the two of them. Why is it that I'm more attracted to this one? I'm taking this one. Home. Exactly. Chris, thank you so much. By the way, if you'd like to read an excerpt from Chris's book, we'll put it at our website. Very useful information.